beam for the women. The start list for the women's balance beam final. The top qualifier, Nina Derval of Belgium, already gave a most memorable performance on the uneven bars yesterday. She will perform fourth in the order. Have a look at Anna Jarek as well. The first up, she was second in the qualification. And Hannah Suyo of Hungary, an opportunity for her. She will perform sixth. Molimo vas pozdravite i suce koji također već četvrti dan marljivo ocjenjuju natjecatelje. Please put your hands together for the judges who have also been working hard these four days. Judges for the balance beam final are about to enter the arena. And unlike at many World Cup events and World Challenge Cup events, we're not going to go in Olympic order today. We'll have balance beam first, followed by men's horizontal bar, then women's floor, still rings, and we'll wind things up with men's vault, just to keep you all on your toes. Before we start, I would kindly like to ask you to keep your mask on your faces all day while in the hall and help us uh, fight the spread of COVID. Thank you. Pandemic protocol is requiring masks on at all times in the venue. Please welcome the finalists on Balance Beam. The first finalist representing Croatia, Anna Jerek. Finalists on Women's Balance Beam. First out, Anna Jerek, the 22-year-old from Split, a 2016 Olympian who is headed back to the Olympic Games this summer. She was the second strongest in qualification. Lisa Wallen has had quite a World Challenge Cup already. Bronze medalist on the uneven bars yesterday. She was the seventh strongest qualifier into this final and has another opportunity for a medal here. The third finalist representing Latvia, Elina Vichrova. Elina Varova of Latvia has been very busy. She competed in vault finals yesterday and on uneven bars as well. This her third final. She is the eighth strongest qualifier. The fourth finalist representing Belgium, Nina Derval. And here is Nina Derval of Belgium. 21 years old, the 2018 and 19 world champion on uneven bars, but her capability on balance beam is very good as well. The fifth finalist representing Croatia, Kristina Zvicker. Kristina Zvicker of Croatia, 18 years old from Zagreb. Won gold on balance beam at the Sombate World Challenge Cup last October. Wonderful moment for her. The finalist is Predstavnica Mađarske, the sixth finalist representing Hungary, Hanna Suyo. Hanna Suyo, an impressive 17-year-old from Bekeshaba, ancient city on the great Hungarian plain. Sedma finalist is Predstavnica Ukraine, the seventh finalist representing Ukraine, Anastasia Bacinska. This is Anastasia Bacinska, the reigning bronze medalist on balance beam from the European Championships two months ago in Switzerland. Wonderful story to that performance. We'll get into it in just a little bit. The eighth finalist is Tokoje Predstavnica Ukraine, the eighth finalist also representing Ukraine, Diana Varinska. And Diana Varinska, Bachinska's teammate from Ukraine, the 20-year-old from Kiev, a perennial contender for honors on balance beam. She is certainly in the mix here. I kindly ask the judges and the first finalists to prepare for the final. And we will begin with the Croatian, Anna Jarek. Thirteen point one five her qualification score. She has had a lot of experience and a lot of success at this event. Won gold on the floor exercise in twenty nineteen here. This is a competition that, as for all the Croatian gymnasts, she says means so much to her. And this is also the last time that she will be competing before she heads to Tokyo.
She is a longtime member of this Croatian team. And the experience and steadiness is showing through in this routine. Nary a wobble so far. She feels very well prepared for Tokyo, says that she's in great shape. Well, that was a wonderful way for her to start out. Such a solid set from Anna Jarek. The road for, to this competition for her literally has not been smooth. She was traveling in a car from Split to Osijek and blew out a tire. And she says that that delayed her and it delayed her coach for several days. And really, from start to finish, it was just solid all the way through. Gainer back tuck, dismount. That may not look too difficult, but the counter rotation that a gymnast gets, it's not easy. score for Anna Derrick, 13.1. Very consistent, scored 13.05 in qualification. The next finalist representing Belgium, Lisa Wallen. Lisa Wallen was seventh in qualification for balance beam. Nice leap series to start off. Switch to switch side. Took some risk getting onto the beam with the front tuck mount. And comes off, unfortunately on that split half. It's a skill that we're likely to see a lot in this beam final. It's relatively easy compared to some others, but as you can see, not even the things that look might look a little bit easier are not easy at all. Double full dismount. This is her World Challenge Cup debut. Really impressed as a gymnast who is not afraid to go after big skills. Coach is telling her that it was really good.
This is Lisa's second year as a senior. She is a gymnast who says she is always seeking out new challenges and what she really likes is flying through the air. Gets good height on this double full dismount. And the score for Lisa Valen, 11.8. It's a hug from Anna Jarek. Who knows what it's like to be in her position, young contender, trying to prove yourself. The third finalist representing Latvia, Elina Vihrova. Here is 18-year-old Elina Verova of Latvia. comes from a gymnastics family. Her father, Igor, the 2000 Olympic champion on floor exercise. So it's natural that she was introduced to the sport at a very young age. Been competing at the international level for eight years now. and really keeps getting better. She spent last year, she says, bulking up her difficulty over all four apparatus. The split half, same element we saw from Lisa Valen. And a hit routine for Elena Verova. Double full dismount. Got through very cleanly. She's got a bit of an advantage to Anna Jarek in difficulty. Jarek had 5 0. This should be a 5 2 or maybe a little bit higher. She was eighth in qualification here and eighth place in the balance beam final at the most recent European Championships in Basel. One place that she has improved palpably is on the amplitude of her leaps. And just the overall solidity of her movements, the flight series, back handspring, layout, step out. And good, clean round off double full. Score for Elena Verova 12.266. Improved a little bit in difficulty, but left something out and only 4.9 in difficulty. Excuse me, improved a little in execution, left a little out in difficulty. And with 13.3 points, Nina Derval was the top qualifier into this balance beam final. Should be mounting with a round off layout step out.
Really nice combination, front aerial to ring jump to immediate back handspring. A lot has been said about Nina Durval's capability on the uneven bars, and very rightly so. But sometimes people tend to forget that she is also excellent on balance beam. She came within less than half a tenth of a bronze medal at the 2018 World Championships. That was in the all around where she finished fourth, but she was also fourth at the 2018 Worlds on this apparatus, the balance beam. Gainer, full twist off the end of the beam. Dismount that doesn't stress the gymnast's legs as much as something with a double flip. But nonetheless, it's very, very intricate, complicated to perform. Nina Derval has not competed too much since 2020. And for her, this is preparation for the Olympic Games. Yesterday on the uneven bar, she debuted a remixed bar routine with a brand new element, not just brand new for her, but brand new for gymnastics, the Navieva with a half turn. It has been given a provisional value by the FIG Women's Technical Committee of H. So if that is finalized, it will be worth eight tenths of a point. For those of you just joining the broadcast, we've just seen Nina Derval of Belgium on the balance beam, the two-time world champion hitting her routine. And 13.933, so that is up quite a lot from qualification. She boosted her difficulty a little bit for this finals, 5-4 in qualification. This was a 5.6. So altogether, this has been a very successful outing for Nina Derval. Here is Kristina Zvicker of Croatia, 18-year-old. Switch leap mount. Generally, she's a very calm performer on this apparatus. No problem with the back handspring layout step out. When she won gold on the balance beam at the Sambate World Cup in October, she said it rendered her speechless. And dismount fairly simple for the international level. Back handspring layout full. <laughs> and just a little direction change there. Gymnasts sit in one place to receive their score. And then they go and get to hang out with the other gymnasts in the final. And it becomes a bit of a game of musical chairs as the standings change.
Zwicker said that here she just wanted to do her routines the way that she knows how. Very conscious that many Croatians are following this from home. Normally they would be here in the arena and really en masse, but due to protocol, they're doing this without many spectators this year. So 13.933 posted by Nina Derval. That is the score to beat. Zwicker carried in 12.6. That put her in fourth position in the qualifying. And her score 12.8, so an improvement for Christina Zwicker. Same difficulty score. Judges felt that this one was a little bit better executed. And that is a provisional bronze medal for her. But Hanasuyo might have something to say about that. She was the provisional bronze medalist in the qualification. Lovely mount, press handstand to planche. Very difficult round off layout. Just a little bit off on that. That left leg came up, but. Oh. And the switch half got her. But unintentional dismount aside. She is a very exciting prospect for the Hungarian team. Joins experienced teammates like Sofia Kovac, who took silver on uneven bars yesterday. And dismounts with a double tuck. She was the bronze medalist in the all-around at the Hungarian National Championships in 2020. She doesn't have a whole lot of international experience, so this is a meet that has been important for her. Just in building up that experience, getting comfortable. And did really well to stay calm the sort of small error that on an event where there's no room for much air uh, puts your heart into your throat. And great athleticism round off double tuck here. That puts her into sixth place at the moment. So it won't be a medal here for her today, but we're going to see her on floor exercise in just a little bit. She has another chance. And no matter what, this has been a very formative experience for her. Anastasia Bachinska of Ukraine. 
had the sixth best score in qualification, 12.5. But she is a very capable gymnast and one who can rise to the occasion. The European Championships two months ago, she was actually the second alternate and got into the beam final when two other gymnasts withdrew, made the most of that opportunity, won the bronze medal. Front handspring, front tuck, wonderful combination. done a nice job of just dressing up her small errors, little balance breaks, but she makes them appear very graceful, almost part of the dance. Just the dismount. The round off double tuck, and she handled it. Handled it very well indeed. You want to know how Anastasia Bashinska feels about this routine? There you go. The candle mount back dive. Really cool looking, used by a lot of gymnasts in this past Olympic cycle. It gets some pretty good difficulty for it too. This was one place where she lost a little bit of difficulty, the front aerial to split jump to immediate back handspring, really wanted to connect all of those elements together, had a little pause, so she won't get the connection difficulty. But the important thing is she did not come off. Not even close, really. Another view of the front handspring, punch front, really, illustrative of how precise a gymnast has to be on this apparatus. This is the side aerial. And the dismount, double tuck. moment and Jarek sitting in second place with 13.1. Nina Derval still the leader and she's had a challenge from Bachinska. And it is provisional third place 13.1. So she displaces Christina Zvicker. Diana Varinska, the fifth strongest qualifier. Diana Varinska. Someone we're quite used to seeing in apparatus finals on balance beam. And she'll show us why in just a second. Elements in a row, back handspring, back handspring to two feet, and layout landing on two feet. Yes. 
lovely presence on this apparatus. Beautiful toe point, so much polish. And as she gets toward the Olympic Games as well, she has gotten more and more solid on the balance beam. Took a medal at the World Cup in Cairo just last week. Clean, solid double twist to end. Very tidy routine from Deanna Varinska. She is not a woman who set out to do gymnastics. Her parents wanted her to do a sporting group for children, and the gymnastics gym is where she happened to end up and found her forte. Part of the history-making gold medal team at the 2020 European Championships. First time Ukraine had captured the team gold. Anastasia Bachinska also part of that team. This the series so impressive right down the beam. She feels that patience is really a virtue to, when it comes to having success and waiting for it. One of her mottos is doesn't matter how slowly you move, the main thing is that you do not stop. She's qualified to the Tokyo Olympic Games as an individual. Ukraine will not have a team there, but she is already thinking towards Paris 2024, says she'd like to do another Olympic cycle. It will be another silver medal for Deanna Varinska, 13.366. And that means that Nina Derval has captured the title. Silver for Deanna Varinska. And bronze for Anna Jarek. and their confirmation of the standings. Nina Derval is the only gymnast to have won two gold medals so far.